Um, it is a... Oh my god! <laughs> well, I had a really long list of things to do, but instead I did three puzzles. Oh, uh, wow, see? Wow. Oh, yeah. I don't even remember what I was quite like. Because I found it. <laughs> Good morning everybody. We're starting off the vlog today on a very wintry walk. It's frosty again today. Look at all the leaves just like falling out the trees. It's so lovely. I feel like for those of you that don't live in the UK that was a very nice slice of British countryside for you to brighten up your Saturday morning. <laughs> this um, walks take a little bit longer now because there has to be snack stops, or she wants to get out the push chair, or she doesn't want to get out the push chair, or she wants to be carried, or she only wants to be carried by me, or she only wants to be carried by Alfie, or she's happy wearing her mittens, and then she's not happy wearing her mittens. <laughs> so a walk that Alfie and I were like, yeah, we'll just do like a 10, 15 minute little brisk walk through the countryside has taken much longer <laughs> and we're now stuck and we're now stuck while well, Ossie has a nap she looks very cute though we basically bundled her up in so many layers that she looks like a little marshmallow is that nice my little marshmallow got Nala as well in her little coat it is very chilly but beautiful so look like I just got home last night I'm still wearing like yesterday's outfit. It doesn't look like I took it off. I did take off the beanie, the scarf and the coat to go to bed, I promise. No, you slept in the beanie. No, I didn't you sleep in the beanie. By my cat sleeping the other night. No, that's just you that wears hats to bed. But yeah, it's a it is a Oh my god. <laughs> that leaf just fell on my fell right in front of me. But yeah, this is so beautiful. I think I feel like I prefer this to snow in a way. I don't know. What do you think? I, I feel like frost enhances things. Like, you see like every blade of grass, do you know what I mean? And like all the leaves like look really cool and crystallised, whereas I feel like snow just covers everything, which is a different vibe. Frost also looks good end to end. Yeah. Whereas snow looks great. Slushy and, and brown. Slushy and brown. Yes, that's very good. true. Although, I mean, I was trying to have a Google to see if it was going to snow at any point in the south over the next week or so. And I don't know if we have snow, but I do feel like there's some snow in Scotland and potentially up north more. But I will keep checking. We've got the sledge now. We're ready. We're Although prepared. People are not happy in the comments with sledge. Why? Because they say... Oh, what were they saying? So, I think it was an American thing. They're saying oh, what, a sledge is like a sledgehammer. They're saying it's a sleigh. But I said a sleigh, but There's I... Something like that in the comments. People were, people were going wild about like, what is a sledge? That is not what you sit on. I feel like we do say sledge though in the UK, no? I think we say sledge. Toboggan. Toboggan. Toboggan? A toboggan, a sledge. It's essentially a piece of plastic with string on it though, let's be real. <laughs> Like there's nothing fancy about it. That's why I don't want to call it a sleigh, because to me a sleigh is what Santa flies in and it's like huge and wooden and really like, you know, amazing and elaborate. Whereas a piece of plastic with some string on it, that's... No, can't put her down. <laughs> this walk, we also need to go into town because we wanted to buy some Christmas presents. But that's going to be tight. That's going to be a tight turnaround. I think I pulled the short straw here. I I was holding her a minute ago. Get do you my, want to switch? Do you want me arm. to push the? Do you want me to push you the? Push, push that the. Guy. Alfie just said, "I wish we could put Nala in the push chair." I was like, "Yeah, no, that ain't happening." Nala, Nala was also the easiest one. Nala, come here. Done anything? Yeah. So the plan is to head into town and just grab a few Christmas presents and also get quite a few of our films developed. Look at my hair. <laughs> This is why I was saying I need extensions. Wow, come on then. Oh, didn't like it. 
Hello, hello. We've just been to town. Um, it wasn't. <laughs> there is a reason why you've seen no town footage. <laughs> it wasn't the most successful. And do you know what? One of the things that I always think. And I no, do... we got everything we needed. It was oh, successful. We ticked all it the just boxes. Wasn't enjoyable. It just wasn't enjoyable. One of the things I always think is. And I know most people watching this will, it's like common sense and you'll be mm. like, well, duh. I don't want anyone to watch our videos or our content and think that we have this like perfect little um, 16 month old nearly who never throws a tantrum, never like, you know, she's a normal toddler. So she obviously has her moments, not that we would ever film them, but just so you know, those moments do still happen to Alfie and I. That we're parents of a toddler. <laughs> so I just want that to reassure you. Today was one of those days. <laughs> if you walk past us or you saw us in town in Brighton or you heard <laughs> Otty, then Sorry. you will understand. <laughs> Apologies. Oh god. It's just not something we'll ever film, but I just want you to know. She you know, we're a normal family. At one point you were in a shop and I had Otty outside by myself and she was just going for it and everyone that looked at me that they walked past i was just like you think i'm a bad parent no. you think i don't know how to parent no yeah especially being a dad i just got so many looks that i was like you're judging me i'm like i can't she she <laughs> won't stop i'm offered her a drink snacks I'm oh, nothing. Day, you're watching Coco Melon at this point, anything. She's currently teething, so she's like much more um, fragile, I feel like. Mm. She doesn't really know what she wants. But teething a lot of big teeth. Massive so, like, teeth. Big molars at the back. Yeah, bless her. Bless her. But yeah, that was funny. She's also <laughs> starting to know what she wants a little bit, but obviously can't tell us. Yeah. So it's almost a little bit worse because sometimes she'll like want something in particular. But she doesn't but quite know how to ask it, for it. Yeah. yeah, it's so true. So Alfie and I spend a lot of time just like showing her things. Offering and everything guessing. around us. <laughs> but, you know, that is life with a toddler. But it was also just too cold. It was too cold. Like, when it's this level of cold, I think we should just stay in. We okay. should stay in, put the fire on, cosy up, watch movies. Do a puzzle. I just don't think we should go to town. <laughs> We've learned our lesson, but we did get things done that we needed to get done. So do you know what? Fine. Alfie's about to cook some lunch. And I thought I would do my puzzle because I'm now three days behind, four days behind on my puzzle. Because I'm not gonna lie to you, they do take up a lot of time. <laughs> and time is just not a thing that I have the luxury of right now. But I really enjoy doing it. This is probably one of my favourite advent calendars I've ever had. I'm not even just saying that. And once I'm done with it, I'm going to... Did somebody make this one? Did you make this one? Oh no, I made that no, one. Made that. that was one of the first ones, no? Yeah, once I'm done with these little puzzles, I'm going to put them all into like little bags and just let Alfie's family do them. Amanda loves a puzzle, so she can have a little go with these. But yeah, whilst Alfie's cooking up lunch i'm gonna do my puzzle i'm gonna do also broken clock definitely not the fifth what is the day today is it friday no, yet thursday eight. is it friday yeah it's friday today oh my god i thought it was thursday it doesn't sound good whatever's going on over there oh my god five minutes there we go it's the ninth let's do a puzzle happy days and then i'm gonna have a bath because i'm so cold ah that's that goes in there that piece of puzzle because i'm so cold i would really like one <laughs> treat yourself treat myself do a little bath right where should i get my stool right i'm gonna time myself this time <gasps> shit i put my stopwatch on when, because I wanted to see how quickly I could walk to um, a sports massage. 53 hours. That's pretty speedy. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty speedy. Right, three, two, one, go.
How long? Six minutes. Third Shut up. One. Bring on another. You've got another seven. knife. Yeah. Three, two, one. Go. Ten minutes forty on the second one. <laughs> I just have a little collection of um, puzzles now. You're right. up to now. No. <laughs> oh, go on then. One more. One more. Go on. Are you good at it? Yeah. This is just not what anyone wants to watch. Me doing three puzzles. Oh, what did you do today while well, Otty napped? Well, I had a really long list of things to do, but instead I did three puzzles. Three, two, one, go. Ten minutes twenty. Puzzle three. Whew, okay, now my back's my back's hurting. <laughs> I'm gonna go and lie down. And just in case you were really interested to see the designs, this one is very Brighton. Two women swimming in the sea, some beach huts, a beach which actually looks stony. And then this looks like the Downs, which is quite nice. So that's actually probably my favorite one so far. Then the other one I did was some fairies on toadstools. And then the other one I did was some stockings underwater. Welcome to Glow Wild. We've got Joe, Amanda, Nick, Alfie, Ottie in the push chair. Oh, look at you two being cute. Joe, <laughs> 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 get off. Get off, get off me. Me alone. <laughs> no, you're warm. <laughs> this looks lovely. Poppy and Shauna are around here somewhere. These look so cute. Ottie's got a lantern. No, you've got her. <laughs> wow, Ottie! No, no hands! Nikki, please! <laughs> Silly man! Honestly! Ready. No hands! Oh. <gasps> Crazy oh, granddad! <laughs> oh, she is holding it! Yeah, she is! Ottie, wow! <laughs> Guys, this is the oh, tallest oh, Christmas oh, tree oh, in the UK. Too. Did he say UK? Yeah. 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 And it's, did he say 132 oh, years old? Yep. Wow. Taller than the tree in Trafalgar Square. Yeah. That's actually sick. They're very cool. Can you see them? They're very good. She wants that. She wants the lantern. Sug slugs. Wasps. Oh, listen to the wasps, Joe. They sound like the hornets. Oh, you look as excited as Otty. <laughs> yeah. You, you happy with your lantern? Oh yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> That's a stink bug. Uh, the dung beetle. Dung beetle, isn't it? Yeah. I think those two are little stink bugs down yeah, there. Were. I like the um, the choice of insects that they've chosen. <laughs> Funny how they make sound. Yeah. Oh, I like the centipede. Look at that. Oh, is it? Yeah. Doesn't a millipede have a million legs? Yeah. No. Oh. Yes, it does. No. A hundred legs. A thousand legs. Millipede. Million. It makes sense. It's in the name. It actually doesn't have a million legs. Oh. Centipede's actually got a flat body. Millipede has a body like that. So it's a millipede. It's a millipede, but it's but it's um you find them in Madagascar. <laughs> In Af like Guys, Africa. we've got David Attenborough with us on this walk. <laughs> the millipede has not one million legs. Middle East and a menu or something. Alfie, oh, Alfie, he's like, guys, food. <laughs> I can see a little something, something going on. Nice there. little little cheeky curry breakfast. Oh, wow! This is very cool. Oh, I like the smell of it. <laughs> you probably can't see me. <laughs> But I don't actually think I said where we are. We're at Wakehurst Place at a light event called Glow Wild. Yeah, you really can't see me. <laughs> Hello. And it's so cute. It's lots of like paper lanterns of animals, bugs. This makes me feel like Harry Pottery, like all the Patronus, Patronuses. Wow. Oh yeah. Ottie, look. Yeah. 
so What's the problem with this? We've lost Nick, but <laughs> he's least, he's probably having a good time. You lost Otty. Yeah. That's a good one to lose. <laughs> but I did go back to look for him in this. You can't see people's faces. <laughs> These are cool little mushrooms. They're, are they mushrooms or like flowers? Very pretty. Like a witch's hat. Yeah, they're so cute. <gasps> there he is. There I am. He's back. <laughs> Where did you go? I stopped Darling. to look at something and everyone walked on. <laughs> no. I'm bringing you, babe. I had to go to one of the helpers. <laughs> Lost Help, I've lost section. my family. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's little. God, I wouldn't have had a family. Oh, look at guys. No, it's not. No. Oh, it's not. <gasps> Jacket potato. Look at the size of the tree. That's just the marshmallows. We did roast potatoes. Turkey gravy, pulled pork. Oh my god, just like the best bit of roast. <laughs> Look at the size of that tree. What should it be? Once upon a. Ow! We've got some marshmallows. We're going to toast. Should we go to this one? This one's a bit more empty. Oh, Pop, you've already had a little nibble of yours. Ooh! Blimey. Let's be careful with the spike. Yeah, I know. Oh! Yummy! <laughs> Time to pick your book. Which one's it going to be today? <gasps> that one? That looks like a goodie. That does look like a you goodie. You so many comments on your, on your new vlog that were like, Whoa, Otty's unwrapping skills are like, <laughs> amazing. <laughs> It'd be funny to compare day one to like day Yeah, three that's three very true. I do feel like she's improving as the days go on. The book she unwrapped yesterday with Alfie's mum was The Paddington. Paddington and the Christmas Surprise. But what have we got today? Hello, Nala. <laughs> Clever girl. Wow! Good job! What's this one? I think it might be the Peter Rabbit! <gasps> it's Peter Rabbit! Take the book to Daddy. She bet she's going to bring me Paddington. <laughs> yeah, she's like, mm, no, I prefer, I I I prefer yesterday's book. Come <laughs> yeah, on then, let's read Paddington. Right, Otty's in bed and I'm running myself a bath because oh, it's just like a nice nice end to the day glow wild was amazing oh my god it was so cool i loved it and the little bit at the end with all the like food shacks and the marshmallow toasting yeah highly recommend very very good and otty loved the lantern you can take a lantern around with you she loved it and she loved all the paper lanterns the whole way around so yeah we had a really really lovely evening and it was nice to go with joe and with pops and sean and amanda and nick so i'm gonna end the vlog here jump in the bath i've actually got a brownie courtesy of nick he bought this chocolate brownie chocolate orange brownie and um, he kept it in his pocket the whole way around. And at the end I said, do you have still have that brownie? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I've still got it. And he was like, take it, go on. Um, so I'm gonna treat myself and have the brownie in the bath. Living my best life. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed today. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. So am I gonna sit here and you're gonna sit back there? Yeah, because then our heads will look the same size. Okay, great. If I sit back here, doesn't look like my head's eight times bigger than yours. Yeah, that's true. That is very true. So when Alfie edited the vlog, he said, this isn't long enough. No, I did <laughs> not joking. say it like that. I'm joking. I said it's only I 19 minutes. I didn't realise I really didn't film very much yesterday. I thought I did, but once Alfie had edited it, there really wasn't much. And I don't like to leave you guys shortchanged. So And everyone's going to think that it was me. Look, like the <laughs> other day we uploaded a vlog that was slightly shorter and everyone was like, I wish Alfie didn't trim down the edit so much. I was like... <laughs> I'm not chopping this all out. <laughs> he is. So he's we're going to add to the vlog today. Yeah, so we thought we'd answer a few more questions. Do excuse our oven. Will that stop? Let me go and stop <laughs> it. Lunch is ready. Right, what are the questions you screenshotted, Sam? So I screenshotted a couple of random questions from the last couple of videos. Feel free, of course, to add any more to the comments of this if there's anything particular that you want to you wanna know. 
These are just random I don't ones. know which ones Alfie's picked, by the way. Yeah. So if my answers are rubbish, that's why. No, I didn't want to be too, like, down one path. So these yeah. are pretty random. I screenshotted five. And I think yeah. I'm just going to do, like, two or three of them now. Otherwise, the video's going to be very, very long. Considering you designed your house, and this was a really popular question, years ago, how has your style changed since then? And would you have done anything differently to now? And do you have any updates or renovations that you would like to make in the future? Oh, really That's a great good question. question. I think the only thing I get a little bit like, oh, I want to change that, is I kind of want to add a bit more colour. It's mm. very grey. And even though it's a yeah. light grey, like it's mostly almost white, and then yeah. like dark grey. Like an eggshell. I think making like having something a bit warmer in some rooms i think would be quite nice especially the dining room like i do like that it's dark gray but there is a part of me that wants to see what that would look like really bright and white what's well, so you're saying less gray but more white less gray and more more, more white and color yeah like a green like imagine we just had like a lovely green wall no like, you don't think no would you do that yeah i'd be too scared really yeah I think I... Oh, your battery's burning out. <laughs> oh my God. I've got a spare one in my handbag. Go on, let's go change want, it now. Do you want to get, get it? Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. This We're will back. keep us going for a bit. Um, so yeah, I think just a little bit less grey now maybe as the years have gone on. A little bit more colour. But apart from that, I'm actually quite surprised by how little I would actually mm. change. Which I think means we made some really good long-lasting decisions. We were saying that the other day, weren't we? Yeah. Because we were saying a lot of the... What? Your spare battery also there's has another no one. battery. There's another one. There's got to be another one. Go and get my handbag. This is typical Zoe. It's not typical Zoe. This is typical it's Zoe. It's not typical Zoe. Is there no other battery in there? Well, this is a full Third battery. time lucky. Third time oh, it's lucky. quite low this time. There, here we go. Okay. So we mentioned the other day when we were chatting, I can't remember what we were chatting about. And I was like, I'm so glad that when we did the renovations of the house, we spent so long thinking about everything mm -hmm. and also bought as high quality pos like products possible. So that we wouldn't have to replace them sooner. Yeah. Yeah. And everything has lasted so, like for example, this sofa you've owned since, since 2014. Yeah, 2014. Mm -hmm. And then we got it just like reupholstered. I also do think something I would like to do in the future is have a little rejig of the bedrooms. I think, like if we were we'll to have, have to with kids. like more, yeah, I just feel like when we've got like a bigger family, I'd want to do more with those, and especially yeah. the upstairs because Alfie and I obviously used that initially when we moved in as office space. Mm. So there's kind of like an office, and there's like a room that we purely use for storage. So it's full of cupboards and I just don't feel like we need that anymore we don't work up there like we did no. so that is definitely something I would really really like to do yeah. I'd love to turn that into either I don't know if that's where kids would be up there or, or, or would we have guest rooms up there mm. I don't know but the only thing I would renovate and we didn't do it ourselves a lot. We put a little bit of time into it, but not much at all because we we're very lucky that it came like this when we bought the house, was the garden. Mm. I definitely, if it was like an idyllic world and landscaping is so expensive, yeah, it takes it really so is. long. Yeah. Um, but if we're talking ideals, I would love to do something more fun and creative with our garden because at the moment it's like a big square, more or less a green square. Yeah. Which is amazing in the summer when you're like, Running around. Chilling with your, your friends on the, on the grass. Running around. But if you wanted like a nice little area to sit and have like a drink or read a book. Yeah, there's not really many like areas. No. Which I think but we that's could definitely do talking something with. Idyllic. Like, yeah. Oh, the garden, I'm very happy with the garden we've got, of course. Yeah. I'm very lucky. But I think that's it. I don't think I'd change anything else. No. I feel like I should have prepped you with this question before and like you'd be able to have a think about it. But which milestone or achievement in life till now are you the most proud of? Can be career related or otherwise. I feel like you both have lived such unique lives. I'd love to know how you guys reflect back on past projects, be it books, YouTube milestones, beauty lines, merch companies, any other of the many hats that you both wear. I love you both. 
I was like, that's such a great question. Like, what is... Yeah, I think mine... Milestone, did you say? Yeah, like, what kind of, like, milestones reflecting milestone. back? Milestone. Because, obviously, some people might be like, oh, when you hit 10 million subscribers... Mm. Because that's such a big YouTube milestone, but in life, is that a big milestone? Or when your book went number one, or... Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, this, I this woman know. comes in just says, like, you've had such a unique life. Or is it Haminotti? Or is it... I think it's... Buying this house or do you know what I mean I don't know because I am really bad at celebrating my milestones like I'm so bad at it because it's like I don't think I really take them all in mm. does that sound weird no it's almost like I don't believe it's happening to me I don't know I've always been a bit like that like it'll be like someone will be like oh my god congratulations on your launch of this and I'm just like thanks but it's not going in yeah I think it will in the future. Maybe we just haven't had enough time because it's been quite like a busy period of time. And also I just feel like it was such big things so close together. Mm. It was like it all kind of snowballed so quickly that I don't think I ever really stopped to like take it all in. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I would say well, probably one of my biggest milestones is my working on my anxiety, if I'm honest. Like personal That's a great life. One. Yeah. And having Otty in my personal life. But I find my career life really hard because there's just so many cool things we've done and I just feel like they all happen so quickly. It's almost like a blur in my mind. Like, what would you say? In terms of like milestone, I find it really hard. I feel hard. like I need to ask Maddie that question. Because again, yeah, we've like done so many unique things in such a short period of time. Like there's so many things that I also don't think about or I forget about like, Madam Two Sword wax figures. That's crazy. Yeah. But like, I just don't think about it. I think one of the things that really stands out to me, which has nothing to do with my career at all, is mm. more to do with yours, was when you did the book signing and there was like thousands see, of people. I didn't even think of that. And that was a real, that was when it like broke through mm. and it was like, oh my God. I think also because what we do and did so much of over the last 10 years was so new. I think I was almost scared to, um, I was almost scared to be like, oh my God, this is amazing in case the next day it was all gone. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like you just took every, every little opportunity and you just ran with it because you didn't know how long it would last or you didn't know if it would happen again or mm. it was also new that it was almost like in in one part of my brain I was really excited and really like oh my god this is insane but then the other half of my brain was like yeah but you know don't get used to that or yeah. this might happen or it was almost like I don't know you I couldn't like you broke the world record for the most books sold for a first time author I know, but like, that's crazy. I think it's one of those things where we would okay, have to... Okay, one milestone. We just need to answer it. One each. Okay, my anxiety. I think that's a very that's a big, big milestone in my yeah. life. I think mine's not like a moment, but more like something that I've achieved, which is I've always wanted to have a job where I love working the job. Mm. And I've just been so lucky for the last, however long, however long this has been a job, like 10 years now, whatever it is, that I've got a job that I love doing. Yeah, it like, surely doesn't that's feel a like a job. in itself, like yeah. working your career to a point, or your hobby, I suppose, to a point where your job is also your passion. Yeah, 100%. And I guess just like zooming out every day for the last 10 years, I've got to work a job that is my dream job. Yeah, like, that's, that's a crazy so true. milestone in itself. And still doing it yeah. this many years later. Like, that's crazy. Yeah. That's a very, that's a cool mm. answer. That's a goodie. Second that. <laughs> oh, this is a, this is a good one. Not very festive, but I'm curious how you handle your finances as a couple and parents and both with separate businesses. Does Alfie get a commission or an hourly pay for his editing work? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's a legit question. I love it. I love it. <laughs> always been very separate business. No, I was only joking. We oh, don't yeah. have a, we don't have a I'm actually answers. answering You can if you want. I was just joking. Because it literally well, said, now we get a commission or an hourly. Imagine if I tried to do an hourly pay to edit. 
What's mine is yours at I this love point. It. We're 10 years in, do you know what I, I mean? We it. have a child. What was your funniest memory together? Uh, what's your funniest memory together when you remember laughing the most? To think of that answer like properly, I feel like we would have had to think about it like yesterday or something to be able to actually yeah. have like a funny answer. But like what's something that's <laughs> just made know. us like laugh the most? What were we chatting about in the car yesterday or the day before and I was like literally quite laughing? Oh, it was when I told you we We can't put that in. You can. No, we can't. Yeah, you can. We can't I, I shouldn't I be laughing it. at that. Oh, God. Anyway. We can't. I. Oh, my gosh. I never remember the things. It's usually when one of us is being really silly or we yeah. both catch each other in a really silly mood and then we both just cry laugh. Do you remember once in bed, oh, I literally had tears streaming yeah, down my face, but I don't remember what it was. I what wish was I wrote it? it down. You were like proper quiet laughing. And I couldn't stop. Do you know what? I think it happens so frequently. Neither of us keep this. It's not like a one time thing. But I'm trying to think of like one really funny moment. I mean, me falling in the freaking sea. Oh, that, that, had, that was good. That, had that was good. Going and we've literally got that on camera. Time. That did That happen. was so good. Yeah. And you had to walk back like 40 minutes soaked. <laughs> yeah. That was that good. That was a goodie. There was something where... Oh, <laughs> I just remembered a really good one. What? <laughs> Do you remember when we were on... I can't even say it without cry laughing. When we were on that... Um, Zoom call with the lactation. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I had to leave. I had to leave the call. I literally couldn't. I was on the other side of the camera of the laptop. Just cry laughing. Literally. Oh. Like Not at her by the way, it was just something. Cry funny. laughing. Oh. I can't even remember why I was cry laughing. Why? Because I farted. <laughs> Right. Ah. One thing they don't tell you after you've had a baby, and I don't oh. know if this is just an epidural thing, but you cannot hold in a fart. I couldn't anyway. Is that my, is that your pelvic floor or was that an epidural thing? I farted and it was so loud. Whilst we're on a Zoom call we with a lactation a specialist. And Alfie, instead of like just composing I himself couldn't. and moving on. It was on, too much. I couldn't. Left, was next to me. Left went behind the laptop screen so I could, I was trying to keep a straight face to the woman oh. and he was behind the screen crying with laughter rolling around on the floor and I was like mm-hmm mm -hmm. it was so that good. was really hard that was so funny oh god okay well I hope you enjoyed those little added questions and I'll see you tomorrow looking like this <laughs> bye See ya.